Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I'm very excited. I'm gonna finally be reacting to L's Up. Uh, <laughs> I, I still don't know how to feel about the name, but uh, I reacted to Queendom Puzzle every single episode. I reacted to it over on Patreon as it was, as it was happening. And so I feel attached to this group because you know, we've been there. We, we've seen it be created. Um, so I'm very excited. Uh, I don't know what to expect, but uh, we're going to do the full album. So I'm going to do the cheeky music video. We're going to do the Die For You English version special video. I'll probably listen to the album version by myself on my own um, just because of time. And then we're going to listen to the B-sides. There's only five songs. It's a mini album. So uh, Undercover, Hideaway, and Cloud Nine. I'm going to do lyric videos for those songs. Um, so I'm very excited to check this out. Um, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Going into this, um, I was rooting for um, Yorum, and uh, I was rooting for Yeon, and I was also very much rooting for Lovely's K, and they all made the group. So, like, my top three made the group. So, like, I'm fine, I'm happy, whatever. Um, and during the process... I really started to like uh, Huiso, and I think my bias in this group is going to be Yonhi. I know nothing about them. I knew nothing about their groups. I've never even reacted to Haiki or um, Cherry Bullet. Is that where Yonhi's from? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I See, I don't know them. I don't know them, but I really like Yonhi's personality. And then Nana, uh, she's cute, and I like her. I liked her personality a lot. She seemed very sweet. Uh, Purple Kiss, Yuki, I already was familiar with her. Uh, I know Purple Kiss. She's a great rapper, great singer, great dancer. So this group is very solid. I, I know that it's like a temporary competition thing. I don't know how long their contract is, but I'm hoping we get more from them, and I hope that this album is good because I, I don't know how much I trust. I don't know how much I trust imnet um but uh we'll see we'll see what happens so anyway let's go all right y'all this is the cheeky music video and we already have our first red flag uh there's no captions and i checked listen <laughs> i checked to see if they have their own official channel or if it was maybe uploaded on uh like one the k or something i couldn't find it so let me know if there's a version of the music video with captions um I mean, I can't read anyway. <laughs> so, like, let's just watch the music video. Let's go. All right. So we're ballerinas, and Huiso's a badass still. Okay, great. Okay, hold on. Can this get crispier? Why is it at 480? She deserves better. Oh, look. Yes, do I? Hold on. <laughs> do Let me flex. Do I pay for premium? Yes, because cause I hate ads. And, uh, okay. Who's this? Wow, she who's the, Oh, that's Yuki. Okay, so there's two members here and they're the ones that are standing out. Okay. You're dressed up. Hey. There's my girl. Hey. Hold on, sorry. She's singing. I love her voice. It's deeper. It's deeper than you would expect to sing her. Oh, that's that's my other girl. I love this group. Wait, what'd she say? Verified. You better not be paying for that check mark. Hi, K. Oh, the legs. Oh. Did they just rhyme cheeky cheeky with freaky deaky, ma'am? Okay, so they're talking about cheeky as in like like tongue and cheek, like I'm feeling playful, I'm feeling sassy. We're not talking about like clapping cheeks or anything. Okay. I wasn't I wasn't expecting it, but we could have been talking about like butt cheeks. I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Hey, 
Oh! There's Yoda in the center where she belongs. Huh, I don't know how I feel about that. But okay, I like it's okay. All right. Uh uh, not yay and smirking. Ma'am. Can we not? <laughs> Okay. Wow, she looks great. Okay, it's growing on me. This is these outfits are giving like a hot topic 2006. This feels very nostalgic and like a it wasn't that long ago. Like <laughs> All right. Is is that is that style coming back? Key change. Wait, what was that? What was that? Certificate of audition. Oh. Okay. I have thoughts. I have feelings. They killed that, though. That was great. Oh, and they have to remind us. They have to remind us who got the crown, who the queens are. Okay, so here's my thoughts. Here's my thoughts. I like this song. Um, the overall vibe of the song is fun. It's very much like an end of summer. Um, parts of it were reminding me of, uh, like, at the beginning of like third gen K-pop, um, like parts of it were reminding me of like early Red Velvet stuff, a little bit of like a twicey sound, um, like that early third gen fun, bright, colorful. Like I love that sound, and so I liked the song, but there was also this like new marketing K-pop aspect of it that I didn't like. Um, which is crazy because that's going to be probably the part that most people love, like the cheeky, cheeky, cheeky part with like the hand choreo and stuff. I hate stuff like that usually um, because to me, it's like very clear that that's just like that's not it's not so much about the songwriting. It's like, will this go viral on TikTok? And like, that's fine. Music is a, is a business. They have to make money and stuff. But I tend to. That's why I tend to usually like some of the B-sides more than the title tracks because a lot of times in the title tracks, they want to have like their viral TikTok moment in the song. And every song is now also having a dance challenge to go with it. And it's fun. It, it's whatever. But it's also kind of like annoying at the same time. Just for me. This is just my opinion. Um I care more about like the music and the instrument, which is why I'm always going to like, I'm always going to prefer a live performance, um, a sit down acoustic acapella radio show performance. I'm always going to gravitate towards those 
more than uh, like a title track. So anyway, I do like the song though. It's fun. I think it was great. Um, I'm excited to hear the other songs too and see if they all kind of have this fun. It's going to grow on me. The more I listen to it, it's going to grow on me. And sometimes, you know, when it comes to these, I think some people call them like a chant chorus or like a chanty chorus. Um, sometimes I just got to be in the mood for it and I just got to embrace it. And I just got to, you know, like when, when I first heard the song, like two baddies, um, like I hated it. <laughs> so I was like, Oh my God. Uh, I thought it was like cringy or whatever, but I was also like not in a great mood. Right. And so then I listened to it another time and I was in a better mood that day. And I was like vibing to it. And I was like, this is fun. Campy. Uh, so it really just depends on, on my mood. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was good. L let me know your thoughts. All right, y'all. Next up is Die For You, English version special video. I'm excited. I see someone holding a microphone. They're going to give us some vocals. This is what I'm here for. Let's go. There's captions. We're already doing better. Okay. And hold on. The quality is still crappy, though. That's my computer. There we go. Oh. Tell me this is... Oh. Is this gonna be a disco song? I can hear it building in the background. your fantasy I'm a love winner. It doesn't sound like you're winning if you're about to like die for someone else, which I can't relate. <laughs> can't relate. I got to survive. Um, I like this. It's very much like a sad disco. Um, it's kind of giving a little bit. Um, Just a little bit, baby, I'm a love winner. Huh. Yeah, look at us. like the depth of her voice she's got like a lower tone i need to listen to um her group which is totally i messed up earlier what did i say she was part of rocket punch she was part of cherry bullet but she's actually in rocket punch i think that's right or if it's not right then it's the reverse of that um i think she's in rocket punch <laughs> All right, Nana, I see you. I love her. I'm not used to her getting parts. Let me watch that again.
Let me hear that low note again, ma'am. No one's ever made me feel the way you do. That was very low. I don't even know if she hit it. That was very a low note. Ugh. I love Puiso's voice. I hope there's more vocal songs on the album because like they have they got some strong vocals in this group and i hope that they use them um like huiso's a great singer k's obviously like a legendary singer uh, i really like yonhee's voice nana's voice is very strong um yorum her voice is very sweet and i really like it yuki can do everything um Yayan has like a tone that's super unique and Yayan's very well-rounded as well. But like, I don't, this was good. This was good. Um, I just hope that they have, I don't, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It's my first time hearing these songs. So I'm, I'm thinking as I'm going through, but a lot of times you can have very talented, like a very good group, and it's going to come down to the songs. It's going to come down to the songs that they get. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to we're gonna check out the B-sides. But that was really good. I liked it. It was sweet. Um, something about the audio sounded a little bit off, and I don't know if it's because I just got new headphones because my other ones broke. Um, so it could be the headphones, but... Like the the instrumental, the backing track, you could hear it was like fun and disco, but like it was very much in the back. And so I want to listen to the album version of that too and just see if it's mixed differently. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. All right, this is Undercover. Oh. The backing vocals are pretty. Oh. I see. Missed opportunity. They should have had Nana doing the Nanas. So pretty. Ooh, but it's kind of like exciting too because they have to keep it a secret, but they're definitely feeling all these things feelings i like this song i think this is my favorite one so far out of the three um yeah you <laughs> 
They gotta keep it on the DL. This song is spicy. There's Nana doing the Nana. <laughs> this one's a bop. That was a bop. That was good. That reminded me of all of like the 2000s bops. Um, yeah, that was definitely my favorite one so far. It probably could have also been a title track, honestly. Just at three minutes long, it's like the perfect length too for like radio. I feel like that could have been the title track, but Cheeky is good too. It goes back to what I was saying about Cheeky. Cheeky has like the the chanty chorus and the the choreography that like blows up on TikTok and like gets super popular. But like this is a better song. <laughs> In my just my opinion. Um hmm. And obviously I care more about the music. Cuz ultimately I'm going to be listening to music more than I like I'm not just walking around my house doing like dance challenges because like I'm not 13 years old. <laughs> um but, like, I listen to good music over and over. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of where my head... And it's not just K-pop. Like, it's kind of like a trend in general. Things have to have, like, their viral moment. But at the same time, that immediately dates something, right? The, everyone's like, oh, hey, remember uh, six years ago when everyone was doing the Kiki Do You Love Me challenge and the, you know... Right, that automatically dates it to a certain year, which ultimately hurts the music. Because, like, a timeless song is going to always be timeless and you're always going to go back to it. Um, you know, the thong song is like always going to be like cringy from the 2000s. Does that make sense? I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, and this has nothing to do with the girls, it's more about like the music industry in general. But anyway, the point is, I liked Undercover, it was my favorite one so far. It was fun, it was fast, and I will definitely be listening to it again. All right, next up on the album is Hideaway. Oh. I love a good whistle intro. Oh, I like this. Where's this horse going to go? Is it going to drop? Yes. I think this is, I feel like this is a continuation of the last song, feeling like they had to keep the love on the DL and it was exciting. And now it's like, let's run, let's run, hide away. They want to, it's like they just want to escape because they're, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, that was very strong vocal. Nice. This is this one's a bop too. Sing it, girl. Wow. Oh, some more nanas. Okay, with the high notes. Wow, okay, so that's the second B side I've liked better than the title tracks. Okay, well, the other one wasn't a, like Die for You wasn't a title track, but it was an official release. So I don't know if it was like a pre release or just like another, like a promotional track or whatever. Um,. But yeah, that was very good. There's only one song left on the album, which is uh, Cloud Nine. But um, I think I liked the last song a little bit more. So I think right now Undercover is my favorite. And then probably Hideaway. And then probably Die For You and Cheeky are probably tied. I don't hate any of these songs. I actually like all of them. Um I just, these B-sides, I just, these last two songs I've been vibing with definitely more. So uh, last up, we're going to listen to Cloud Nine. All right, y'all, last song on the album. This is Cloud Nine. Oh, did we save the best for last? Wait a minute. Is is Nana the main vocal in her group? Because her voice is really nice. It's warm and it's like deeper than I would expect. She's just got like a nice natural. I like her tone. Very pretty harmonies. Wait, did they say it seems like everything changed while having a key change? I see what you did there. Okay, coming in with the powerful chorus.
Interesting. I need a song called like Cloud Four, Cloud Three. <laughs> when you're just kind of like meh, because <laughs> the mood. Yeah. The little vocal fries. <laughs> I'm in K-pop too deep, I think. She said, save me from insomnia. And I was like, what them Dreamcatcher fans do to you, ma'am? <laughs> but she's talking about staying up all night, thinking about this person, wanting to be with them to the point of like not being able to fall asleep. I like this beat. Very pretty. See, I need I need more of that. Yes. Oh, and that's how they ended the whole album is just her really pretty. It's very pretty. And it was a it was a good way to end the album too. Um okay, well <laughs> That was that was it. That was L's Up L's Up's uh debut mini album. Um I liked it. I I'm kind of conf here. Let me be honest for a second. Um, I feel like I've been pretty honest this whole video. Uh, my favorites are still Undercover and Hideaway. I really liked those songs. Um, Cloud Nine was also just really nice. Cheeky is good. I feel like it's going to grow on me because even just like listening to it a second time editing, um, you know, I was just kind of vibing with it. it it's just fun. Um, the thing about Cheeky is I like the verses and the bridge more than I more than the actual chorus, um, which is usually a problem. Uh, and then Die For You, I haven't heard the album version. I've only heard the like live English version. So I'm going to go listen to that myself. Um, yeah, the, the problem I think with, and it's not necessarily a problem, this just kind of feels like, a collection of songs that they're singing, I still don't know like what the group's identity is. And I think that's okay because this isn't a permanent group, right? This is a group that's put together from a TV show, from a competition. I think they might be together for like two years or something. And then, and then that's it. Um, but yeah, I think that would be my only complaint is just maybe the song choice. Because, like, the songs were all kind of pretty, and there was some disco elements in some of the songs, some pop elements, definitely some hip-hop with the rapping. But, like, 
nothing was really standing out as much, I guess. I don't know. It was good though. Like that's the thing. It was good. But like it what it wasn't like amazing. Does that make sense? So like if this was a brand new group and these people were not already known and if they weren't from a TV show, like would this be popular? I don't know. I don't know, but there are some really pretty songs on here. I hope they come back with, I'm sure they're going to come back with a full length first album. And I hope we get more of this, but also I want more vocals. Because like hearing Nana's voice and hear like that's something I hadn't really, that's something I hadn't noticed watching Queendom. I didn't know that she had that like really nice, beautiful, kind of like neutral, a little bit deeper voice. I love her voice. I need to check out more of her group that she's in. I don't even know what group she's in. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I want to hear more of Yoram and Yuki rapping because that was amazing. Kay, on this last song with the high notes and this stuff, it, like that was great. If I had to, I don't think they have official positions, do they? I would almost say that Huiso was the main vocal. Because Huiso had a lot of vocals. Huiso and K, if I had to guess. And then my girl Yanhi. Like, I liked all of this. This was all good, right? So don't, don't think that I'm hating on this because this was all good. The album didn't do anything wrong. If anything, it was kind of just safe. But it's, it's the first mini album and what? It was only like a month after the show ended, so I feel like it might have just been like a time thing. I don't know how long they had to record these songs, but I hope that they come back with a full album or another mini album, and um, I hope they give us like a concept because this just kind of felt like a collection of songs, and the songs were good, and the songs were nice, and I liked some of the songs more than others, but it didn't necessarily... I don't know. I would give the album like a C, a C plus, maybe a B minus if I'm in a good mood. I think Cheeky was probably the weakest. I would have probably put mm, Undercover, maybe. Undercover as the uh, the title track, maybe Hideaway. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really curious. And uh, yeah, you're totally fine to disagree with me in the comments. Um, let me know your thoughts. I'm really curious. Just to be respectful. And uh, if you're like rude or ridiculous, obviously I'll just delete it. But I really want to know what you guys think of this album. And don't send any hate to them, obviously, because like they're all very talented and wonderful and we voted for them. Um, yeah, the album is just good. It's just okay. It's good. But like at the same time, I'm not, it, that doesn't excite me. It's just, it's just, it's good. It's fine. Um, but yeah, Undercover and Hideaway, I'm going to go back and listen to those again because I really liked those two songs. I want to see more from them. I will stay updated. Um, I just followed them on Twitter and on YouTube and stuff. So I will keep up with L's Up. And uh, it would have been cool if Taeyeon had an appearance on the album. That would have been kind of funny. But I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you guys later. Oh, also, I got a cat. I didn't even talk about this. Look at my cat sweater. It's fall, and I got new headphones, and I just realized my cord matches with my, uh... yeah, I had to get some, like, Bose headphones because uh, my other headphones started to die, so I'm going to go. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.